What's up everyone, it's 23MJ88 back with another video today. Today's video will be on the Air Jordan 30 in the white, black, and wolf gray colorway. Without further ado, let's check them out. All right, so here's a look of the Air Jordan 30's materials. It is a performance woven upper, and this year they did use fly knit in it as well. So it's a little different from last year. It does have that black to white gradient effect on the upper. And it does have the Air Jordan 30 branding on the heel counter, which is actually makes up a basketball net as well. And one thing I did notice from last year on the Air Jordan 29 compared to this year, it is, it is reinforced. So last year on the 29, it was a really soft heel counter and this year it is really, really reinforced in the heel. So that's nice as well. And on the mid sole, it does have a print that says excellence is never second place. You probably won't be able to read it, but it is on there and it does run full length across the midsole. These do have a Galaxy Cosmo print on the midsole as well. And here's a look at the lateral side and the medial side. And these do as well have a lenticular toe cap. So basically what that is, it's a reinforced toe cap for toe offs and it is breathable. And it does, it's basically made up of a bunch of little dots like a 3D postcard. And it does make up a jump man on the toe box. So it's definitely something different from last year's Air Jordan 29's toe. And it's just basically for a more durable toe. And on the tongues of the Air Jordan 30's, it does have two globes. And on this one here, it is MJ's background, his heritage from Africa. And on this one, you can see a tiny little blue dot on it. And that would be UNC, University of North Carolina, uh, where MJ played his college days. The lacing system on the Air Jordan 30 is pretty much the same as last year as well, from the Air Jordan 29s. And the lacing system basically runs all the way down into the footbed. So when you do pull on the laces, it does act like a cage. And it is uh, basically acts as support for your foot. Kind of like a fly wire, but it just runs all the way down into the footbed. So that is a nice touch as well. Here's a look at the outsole. It does have that Air Jordan 30 branding with the jump man on the toe, pretty much in the same place as last year as well. This uh, outsole is pretty much the same as last year's Air Jordan 29s. It does have the script running all the way along it as well. It does say excellence is never second place. And they did use the flight speed plate as well on the Air Jordan 30s. So it's pretty much the same plate. And again, on the Air Jordan 29s, it did have the tendril running in between. Whereas on the Air Jordan 28s, it was a decoupled uh, heel and forefoot. So it still has the tendril and it does have the unlock zoom in the forefoot, as you can see. The one thing I did notice is that it is recessed a little bit from last year, so it's not as pronounced, but it still does feel nice. And on the heel, you can still see it does have that little notch, the little cutout. And basically what that's for is when you compress on the heel counter, uh, it will compress a little bit. So it's not just rock hard, even though there's no zoom in there. It still does compress a little bit and the outsole is a translucent outsole. So overall this shoe is pretty similar to last year's Air Jordan 29 with a few minor little tweaks here and there like the heel counter and the toe box. The lenticular toe box as well. It does have kind of like a spandex material on the ankle collar and it makes for a nice uh, feel for when you tie these up tight. Uh, it doesn't restrict your foot at all, so it's definitely a nice feel. It's more of a mid-foot, or a mid-cut, sorry, uh, on the Air Jordan 30s, but that material isn't restricting, and it's almost like a corduroy, corduroy material, as you can see. But it is kind of like, almost like a memory foam as well, and like spandex-like, so. It's definitely a cool looking shoe. The one thing I did notice is uh, the, the heel uh, pillows inside the shoe. Uh, when I did try them on, it does pinch really bad on your Achilles tendon, so I'm hoping that breaks in after a few wears. But initially, I have heard of a few friends of mine that were having the same issue, so hopefully that does break in. And another uh, spot where the Air Jordan 30 differs from the Air Jordan 29 is on the insole. There's a bunch of little notches, like little grippies on the insole. And basically what that's for is while you're playing, uh, basically it prevents your foot from moving, shifting forward or back while you're playing. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Nike Elite series they did with the KD LeBrons and the uh, Kobe's. They did the same kind of insole on those, so they did add that this year as well. And the tongue as well, I did notice is very padded, extremely padded, running all the way up the tongue. And it does kind of have almost like a 3M weave in the tongue as well, so that was uh, definitely a nice touch. Just look quickly at the left shoe. There's the 
lenticular toe cap. As you can see it's kind of like a 3D print on it, and it's pretty cool. And that Air Jordan 30 branding on the heel. And I know a lot of people aren't very happy with the Air Jordan 30s. Uh, they pretty much consider them the Air Jordan 29.5 or 29 SEs. Uh, they don't consider that the shoe differs much from the Jordan 29s, but uh, it's definitely a new rendition. And I think it looks a bit different with the heel counter and that toe cap. I'm definitely excited to wear these. These will be going on court pretty soon. Now for the fit on the Air Jordan 30, I would recommend maybe going up half a size because the toe box is really slim and it is somewhat of a narrow shoe. So that is one thing to note. I did go with my usual size 10 and a half and they were a lot tighter than last year's Air Jordan 29. So that's just one thing I would note. Uh, try them on first if you can. And if you can't, if you have a wide foot, definitely go up half the size because it does fit a lot tighter than last year's Air Jordan 29. So here's just a quick look of the box on the Air Jordan 30. It does have the white lid with the XXX branding. And I did go with the size 10 and a half. The one thing I did notice is it did have a suggested Canadian retail of $300. So I'm guessing last minute they did change the price and they did reduce it to 265, so that is one thing to note on the box. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Air Jordan 30 video today. If you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. And as usual, let me know down in the comments, did you guys pick these up, or were they a pass just because they were too close to the Jordan 29s for you guys? Thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.